How's it going YouTube? All my friends, all the people out there stopping by watching my channel, all my subscribers. Um, today's video, I want to talk about group rides. Why I avoid them and maybe why you should as well, especially if you're a newer rider. To me, there's kind of two categories of group rides that people go on. Uh, first category being just kind of around in town, maybe doing little charity runs or poker runs and things like that with uh, large groups of motorcyclists. We're talking, you know, 20, 30, 40 motorcyclists. There's that kind of group. And then there's a group of guys and riders, kind of like Adam Sandoval, what he's currently doing right now, riding across the country for a good charity cause. So there's that type of group ride. Uh, there's the type that just kind of get together, do the charity runs, uh, dudes just hanging out in town, riding back and forth, uh, just have a, a smaller loop of a ride, if you will, maybe raise money for Toys for Tots or something else like that. And then there's just kind of spur of the moment, maybe the sport bike kind of guys, they get together and they ride around doing hooligan stuff and, you know, zipping all over the place, riding fast and everything. And so let's get back to my point, uh, the reason why I avoid going on them. Uh, the Adam Sandoval type group ride where he gets out there and he rides you know hundreds and thousands of miles and he picks up riders all across the country and they go with him I don't do those sort of rides because number one I just can't get the time to do that sort of thing and number two I don't have a bike that's set up for it so for me to do something like that it's just not practical um, so I, I, I avoid them because of that maybe I avoid them simply because you know I'm just not comfortable with doing long rides you know out there on the highway uh, being far away from home traveling hundreds of miles and things like that to me it just I don't know it's not necessarily inexperience for me it's just you know if something happens to me when I'm way out there in the middle of you know some other state and I get hurt or something like that I know the consequences of of me getting hurt while I'm far away from home so I just avoid doing them the other type of group rides that I was kind of kind of putting into a little a little box if you will is the, the people who go riding around in town um, on organized group rides or spur of the moment type group rides uh, with a bunch of people. I will avoid those type of group rides because I don't feel comfortable being around the people in those group rides. Now see, I trust myself to be a good rider and be in a group and you know, kind of obey traffic laws and, and ride sensibly while watching out for other riders, keep my eye on myself and other people out there while I'm riding around in a group ride. What I don't like about those type of rides and what turns me off from them is other people's inexperience. Now I might ruffle some feathers here with this next statement, but it may come as a shock to you, especially beginner riders, that there are a lot of people out there who've been riding for years and maybe even decades that can't ride worth a shit. If you want to think about it in the sense of you know how many miles somebody logs on a bike versus how many years they've been doing it there is a huge difference and i'm going to use myself as an example now i've been riding now for well, almost eight years i don't have as much experience as somebody who may have only been riding for a couple years why is that well because i'm one of those kind of weekend warrior type of riders and I don't have a lot of miles logged as far as like uh, commuting, uh, being in group rides, as far as like, you know, doing practice maneuvers and things like that. I don't have a whole hell of a lot of experience. So if you come across a guy that's maybe been riding for a couple of years and he commutes to work every day and logs 12 to 15 to 20,000 miles a year on his bike, he will have much more experience doing that for a short period of time than I would in riding eight years now I'm a, am i telling you that i'm not experienced enough to be a good rider no i'm plenty experienced enough to be a good rider because a lot of it has to do with your mindset now back to the guys maybe even gals that i say who've been riding for a long time that probably suck at riding are those people who are kind of like me in the fact that they have this nice shiny bike in their garage and they maybe take it out two or three times a year maybe a dozen times a year and they'll go out on these big group rides and they will go you know travel across the state maybe in town or whatever i'm saying that a lot of those people that do that that don't have much actual experience riding a lot of those people do suck at riding and those are the type of people who i don't trust to be out on a group ride with simply because they're honestly terrible at riding so how many people do you think fall into that category of those who have a really pretty bike in their garage 
but hardly ever ride it. They're hardly ever riding their motorcycle, which means they don't have much experience. So I don't care if you've been riding, technically, had a motorcycle license for 20 years, but you log maybe two or 300 miles a year on your motorcycle, that type of inexperience put together with you being in a group ride really makes me nervous and makes me not want to be out there with you. And the thing is, you can never tell who it is out there in the group with you that might cause an accident or do something stupid or doesn't know how to brake properly or avoid a collision with you or another car or another motorcycle. So all those things kind of make me nervous. I'd go out with a couple people, no problem. I've gone out with a couple few people before on a little little tiny group ride and just kind of done my thing and been perfectly cool with it. I enjoy kind of doing that sort of stuff with, with smaller groups of riders on occasion. I don't do it all the time. I'm more of a guy that likes to kind of stick to myself when it comes to riding. But let's talk about the, uh, the in-town kind of hooligan sort of group rides where you get a bunch of guys together on all kinds of different bikes. And they're out there having fun, you know, doing crazy stuff. Now those, if you're a beginner rider, you should avoid those like crazy. Because I can almost guarantee that somebody is going to get hurt on one of those types of rides. And I'm talking about the guys uh, you know, riding around, popping wheelies and doing all kinds of stupid stuff on their bikes. I would never go on a ride like that. Because you basically guarantee that somebody's going to get hurt. Because there's plenty, plenty of idiots out there. I do stupid stuff on motorcycles. Even though there's guys out there that, that are really good riders. I mean, they could do wheelies and, you know, burnouts and whatever the heck else you want kind of tricks you can do on a motorcycle. They're really good at riding and, and controlling their bike and doing stuff like that, but they take stupid risks. And to me, that would be foolish to go out on a ride with people like that. Now, those people you can kind of spot from a mile away. I mean, they, they ride certain types of bikes and things and I'm not here to talk crap about any certain certain group of motorcycle rider, but the sport bike guys, I mean, they kind of, <laughs> well, the sport bike and the dirt bike guys, the guys who ride dirt bikes on the street, I'm not talking about like dual sports, but I'm, you know, them guys, you, you've seen them on YouTube, you know, popping wheelies all over the place and just acting like complete fools. Those type of guys, you know, nah, I, I'm not going to have none of that. So if you're a beginner rider and you just started riding and you're looking to go do group rides and things, I would... You know i would think twice about it because there's a lot of dangers that come along with uh riding in a group of motorcycles mainly the people that you're with and i know people have told you that they're fun and everything go on a group ride big old blah 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 and all this stuff like that but just stay away from them when you first start riding because you're going to be very nervous being in a group like that and some of you i know when you start out riding a motorcycle just being in traffic makes you nervous so Having a bunch of other motorcyclists around you doing stupid crazy things or having to constantly watch your rear view mirror to make sure that somebody who only rides their bikes on the weekends, you know, two times a year doesn't rear end you or do something stupid like, I don't know, grab too much front brake going around a corner in front of you and then you end up pulling off to the side of the road having to pick them and their bike up out of the ditch. Just avoid the group rides if you're a beginner. That's all I have to say. And maybe even when you have more experience like I do, maybe you just continue to avoid them because uh we just don't trust people because a lot of motorcycle riders out there don't know how to ride their motorcycles anyways i think i've rambled on enough thank you for watching the video uh, please take the time to hit that like button and uh subscribe and uh until next time i will see you guys later ride safe have a good day